everyone. Welcome to a deep dive into a topic that might not be the most glamorous, but let's face it, we all spend a good chunk of time there. Bathrooms. <laughs> not just any bathrooms. <laughs> We're diving into the trends that are going to be huge in 2025. Right. You guys sent in a bunch of trend reports and articles, and honestly, some of this stuff is like straight out of a sci-fi movie. Well, uh, maybe not sci-fi, but definitely some cool innovations. And a lot of the trends show that people are thinking about bathrooms differently. Totally. It's not just about practicality anymore. It's about creating a whole experience. So our mission here is to help you understand what's driving these trends. And help you figure out how to use them to create your own dream bathroom. Yeah. Even if that dream bathroom is on a budget. Definitely. Speaking of trends, one thing that stood out in a bunch of these reports was sustainability. Yeah. It's not just a niche thing anymore. It seems like everyone's thinking about eco-friendly options. Like bamboo vanities. Recycled glass tiles. And of course, water-saving fixtures. Which is good for the planet and your wallet. Saving water means saving money on those bills. Absolutely a win-win. But sustainability isn't the only big shift happening. Real simple is saying goodbye to those all-white, sterile-looking bathrooms. You know, I think people are craving more warmth and personality. Yeah. They're suggesting warmer colors, more natural materials, bringing a bit of that spa-like zen feeling into the bathroom. Which makes sense because who doesn't want to feel relaxed in their bathroom? Especially after a long day. And speaking of bringing the outside in, Better Homes and Gardens is suggesting something pretty bold. Bold? Like what? Ditching the basic subway tile and going for bolder tile patterns inspired by nature. Like imagine having these intricate mosaics in your shower. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like a little piece of art right there in your bathroom. Exactly. But that's not all the excitement. Our sources are also buzzing about all the new tech coming to bathrooms. Tech? Like what kind of tech are we talking about? Well, get this. Self-cleaning toilets. No way. I mean, sign me up for that. Right. And voice activated everything. Okay. Now that's starting to sound a little too futuristic for me. I know, right? It's like, how much tech is too much tech in the bathroom? <laughs> well, I think the key is to find that balance between cool features and practicality. It should enhance your experience, not complicate it. Yeah. Like, I don't want my bathroom turning into some kind of spaceship control room. Exactly. It's your bathroom, not mission control. Okay. But before we get too carried away with all the fancy tech and design trends, Let's remember that creating a luxurious bathroom doesn't have to cost a fortune. Right. You don't need to break the bank to have a beautiful and functional bathroom. There are so many clever ways to achieve that spa-like feel on any budget. Like what? Give us some ideas. Well, for one, you don't always have to replace things. Refinishing existing fixtures can give them a whole new look without the hefty price tag. Good point. And I'm always a fan of a good DIY project. Exactly. Maybe swap out your old shower head for a rainfall one. Little upgrades like that can make a big difference. They can really elevate the whole experience. And speaking of experience, one thing that really stood out to me is that personalization seems to be the overarching theme across all these trends. Oh, absolutely. It's like this shift from following a set formula to really making your bathroom a reflection of your individual style. Yeah, it's not just about keeping up with the Joneses anymore. It's about creating a space that truly feels like you. Right. Mixed metal finishes, custom vanity units, all these things give you the flexibility to create something unique to your taste. So it's less about trends and more about creating your own personal sanctuary. Exactly. A place to relax, unwind, and maybe even escape the world for a little bit. Okay, I'm already feeling inspired. And we've only just scratched the surface of these bathroom trends. There's so much more to explore, so stay tuned for part two of our deep dive, where we'll be diving even deeper into all this bathroom goodness. I can't wait. Welcome back, everyone. You know, one thing that really stands out in all these trend reports is how bold bathroom design is getting. Oh, yeah. People are definitely not afraid to make a statement. <laughs> not at all. And one area where that's really noticeable is tile. Oh, yeah. Tile's having a major moment. We're seeing so much variety, vibrant colors. Unique shapes. Textured finishes. I even saw some reports mentioning three-dimensional tile designs. It's not just a functional element anymore. Yeah. Tile is becoming a way to add some serious personality to the bathroom. Like art for your walls and floors. Exactly. Speaking of floors... Have you seen the trend of textured and patterned floor tiles? Oh, yeah, I love those. It's like having a constantly evolving art installation right under your feet. I know, right? Every time you step into the bathroom, it's a little bit different. Now, let's move on to another trend that's been catching my eye. Wet rooms. Wet rooms. What are those? Okay, so picture this. A shower area 
that's open, no traditional enclosure, almost like you're showering in the middle of the room. Wait, really? Like no walls or doors or anything? How does that even work? Well, it's designed in a way that the water is contained, usually with a slight slope in the floor and strategic drainage. It creates this very luxurious spa-like feel. Hmm. I can see how that would make the bathroom feel bigger, too. Exactly. <laughs> Especially for smaller bathrooms, it can really open up the space. I like it. Okay, let's talk bathtubs. Because wow. nothing says luxury like a beautiful, freestanding bathtub. Oh, absolutely. And they're definitely still in style. Good. Because I was worried for a second that they might be going out of fashion. Nope, they're here to stay. And the designs are so diverse now. Sleek and modern. Or classic with those clawfoot tubs. There's a freestanding tub for every taste. But let's not forget about the practical side of bathroom design. All that fancy stuff is great. But what about storage? Right, because who wants a cluttered bathroom? No one. <laughs> and thankfully, our sources have some great ideas for maximizing storage space. Like what? Well, custom vanity units are becoming increasingly popular. You can get one designed specifically for your needs. So no more digging through drawers to find that one specific thing you need. Exactly. Everything has its place. And while we're on the topic of creating a certain mood, we have to talk about lighting. Oh, yeah. Lighting is so important. It can make or break a space. Right. So what kind of lighting should we be looking at? Well, according to Martha Stewart, Statement lighting fixtures are a must. Statement lighting. Yeah, like chandeliers and pendant lights. Chandeliers in the bathroom, that's fancy. I know, right? But it really adds that touch of elegance. Okay, I'm intrigued. What about finishes? What's trendy for fixtures and hardware these days? Matte black is still super popular for a modern look, but warmer metals like brass and brushed gold are making a comeback. Yeah, I've noticed that. It adds a touch of warmth and sophistication. It does. And you know what? You don't even have to stick to just one metal anymore. Oh, you mean like mixing metals? Exactly. Like pairing a chrome faucet with brass handles. That's actually a really cool idea. It adds a bit of an eclectic vibe. It does. And it's another way to personalize the space. But let's not get so caught up in all the style that we forget about accessibility. That's a really important point. A bathroom should be functional and safe for everyone. Absolutely. What are some of the trends in that area? Well, universal design principles are becoming more and more common. Things like grab bars, non-slip flooring, wider doorways. These features make the bathroom safer for people with mobility issues. But they actually benefit everyone. It just makes the space more user-friendly overall. Okay, I have one last trend I want to talk about. The bathroom lounge. Uh, yes. Mm. The bathroom is no longer just a utilitarian space. It's becoming a place to relax and unwind. Like having your own personal spa at home. Right. So think seating areas, luxurious amenities, maybe even a little reading nook. I love it. It's all about creating a space where you can truly pamper yourself. And that brings us back to that big question. What kind of experience do you want your bathroom to create? Do you want a spa-like sanctuary? A sleek and modern retreat? Or maybe a bold and colorful oasis? The possibilities are endless. They really are. But before we get too carried away with all the possibilities, we need to talk about how to actually make these bathroom dreams a reality. And that's exactly what we'll be covering in part three of our deep dive. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the final part of our bathroom trends deep dive. Okay, so we've talked about all these amazing trends, but now how do we actually make them happen in our own bathrooms? Well, the first thing is don't get overwhelmed. It's easy to look at all these beautiful pictures and think, oh my gosh, where do I even begin? Right. It can be a lot to take in. It is. Yeah. So let's break it down into manageable steps. The first thing to consider, as always, is your budget. Yeah, because not all of us have unlimited funds to throw at a bathroom renovation. Right. But that's okay. Remember all those clever tips we talked about? Like refinishing instead of replacing. Exactly. And DIY projects. And focusing on those key upgrades that make the biggest impact. Right. So start by figuring out how much you're comfortable spending. And then you can prioritize those upgrades that fit within your budget. Exactly. And don't be afraid to get creative. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the most effective. True. And remember, these trends offer so much flexibility. You can mix and match different elements to create a look that's uniquely you. It's not about copying a specific style. It's about creating your own personal bathroom haven. So what else do we need to think about besides the budget? Well, functionality is super important. It's easy to get caught up in the aesthetics and all the pretty details. Oh, yeah, I can definitely get carried away with that. We all can, but it's important to step back and think about how you actually use your bathroom. 
What would make your life easier? Like more storage. Exactly. Mm. Do you need a bigger shower? Would a double vanity make mornings less chaotic? These are all really good things to consider. They are. It's about making sure the design works for your lifestyle. So we've talked about budget and function. Now let's talk about those finishing touches that really bring the space to life. Okay, like what kind of finishing touches are we talking about? Think about the things that make you feel happy and relaxed. Okay, like candles. Yes. Plants. Definitely plants. They make any space feel more alive. Right. And artwork. Ooh. I love the idea of incorporating some art into the bathroom. It's a great way to add personality. And don't forget about those soft, cozy textures. Oh, yes. Like plush towels. Yes. And a nice, comfy bath mat. And maybe even a little robe to lounge in. It's all about creating a space that feels both luxurious and inviting. So to sum it all up, creating your dream bathroom is really about taking those trends that inspire you and making them your own. Don't be afraid to personalize. Right. It's not about following a rule book. It's about creating a space that makes you happy. Exactly. And remember, it's a journey, not a race. So take your time, do your research, and most importantly, have fun with it. I love that. This has been such a fun and informative deep dive. I feel like I have a whole new perspective on bathroom design. You too. It's amazing how much there is to learn about something we use every day. It really is. So a big thank you to everyone who sent in those trend reports and articles. You've given us so much to think about. And to all of you listening, thank you for joining us on this bathroom design adventure. I hope you feel inspired to create a bathroom that's both beautiful and functional, a space that truly reflects your personal style. Happy renovating. <laughs>